an urgent plea from North Carolina's governor to school leaders across the state. He's asking them to require face masks for the new school year. We're looking at the letter that his office issued today. There it is just 10 days before students head back to class. Around 50 districts in North Carolina have decided to make masks optional. Among them Gaston County, where some 200 children have tested positive for the virus in the past 10 days. New at 6 WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joins us from Gaston County Schools with the information that parents need to know. Well, as it stands right now, Gaston County Schools will be masks optional, but the health department, when they shared those numbers, was very clear in their recommendation that they believe all students should be masked when they head back to the classroom. Just 10 days before students in Gaston County head back to school, the health department is laying out the numbers, saying COVID-19 case counts among children so high they fear potential outbreaks and widespread quarantines if masks remain optional. Right now, more than 200 Gaston County children are COVID positive. I would implore them to implement mask mandates for kids, just like Mecklenburg County did. Doctors and health departments unanimous. In-person learning is essential, but so too should be masks. We have always used the medical advisory teams. At Gaston Day School, a private prep school in Gastonia with roughly 500 students, masks will be mandatory when students return next week. Thought it was both the safest way, but we also think it's the most likely way of keeping us in school and not having to have people go home and learn remotely. Union Academy Charter School in Union County and Mooresville Graded School District both recently switched from mask optional to mask mandatory policies after both had COVID outbreaks. Union Academy now up to 78 COVID cases and more than 150 in quarantine. I cannot with good conscience put my children in a situation where they're gonna be at risk like that. This mom says she's keeping her kids home for at least the first week if her school district remains mask optional. They can still carry the variant and they can still give it to my kid. So if they're not going to have masks on, I can't put my kids in that obvious situation. Masks once again caught in the middle of a debate. The Gaston County Board of Education is expected to meet Monday and we did take a look at their agenda. There is a COVID-19 update on there, so we will be there covering that and we'll bring you the latest. Reporting in Gaston County, Asher Daly, WCNC Charlotte.